Hi guys, welcome to my channel, Brandy Plans. Today I'm doing the pre-plan for Christmas week. So I know that Christmas is next week. I always pre-plan. So this is my plan for Christmas week. And as promised, I of course picked this exclusive art um, Disney mystery kit from the Scrappy Fox or now Coco and Fluff. So if you go over to Coco and Fluff's uh, YouTube channel, you'll see why the name changed. You'll see all the things. She did a really fun, I, I think she labeled it, Dawn labeled it, um, a chatty chatty plan with me where she does a voiceover where she's doing a plan with me, but she answers all of your questions about why the name change, all that kind of stuff. I just find that shops sometimes just like to do brands, but she is not going anywhere. She is having all the same wonderful stuff. She's going to still have printables. She's still going to have like actual sticker kits. She now has a website, um, but the Etsy shop is not going anywhere. So don't, don't freak out. Don't freak out. She's just, she's opening a website. She is slowly going to be moving the physical items over to the website. Um, but she will be keeping all of her printables and digital stuff over on the Etsy shop. And there will be links between the two. So don't worry if you're used to going to the Etsy shop, as we all are, there is a link to head you over to the website, or you can just put it into any of your search engines and go Coco and Fluff, and it will take you directly to her website. I have personally used the website, um, and it is is fantastic. It's just, it functions just like any other website out there. Um, and of course you can like put our names in notes to seller, all us PR girls. Um, and you can also use Brandy 15 for 15% off your order. Um, however, great news. Um, the Scrappy Fox is again in the TPC sale. So the TPC sale for January is happening um, early doors open January 12th and it runs to the 16th. So excited because guys, there are so many awesome, amazing things happening over at Coco and Fluff. Like there is a bunch of brand new kits coming out. They are amazing. Like I can't, they're just amazing. I can't even. Um, there is new products. There are, yeah, there's just so much fun going over there. So if you guys have not checked out the website yet, just head over there. There's lots of new things happening. Um, yeah. And if I haven't mentioned, I'm sure I've mentioned this before, but the Facebook group, the Scrappy Fox Facebook group is very active. So we often do like show me your spreads and affirmations. Tara does wonderful affirmations. We do like little like, um, tutorial Tuesdays. Pause. This is my favorite box in this entire kit. The one with Mickey and Disney with the Christmas trees and the lights for me, it is goals. Like, I have this giant dream of being able to go to Disney. Um, obviously, I cannot hold Walt Disney's hand as he is no longer with us. However, Mickey, I could still potentially hold Mickey's hand at Christmas time at Walt Disney. Or at least hug him, stand in line with the 6,000 other people go up to the front, hug Mickey at Christmas, this could still happen for me. I'm just saying. And actually, to be honest, one of my one of my biggest dreams, because, okay, so back up. Wow, I'm nattering. Um, uh, I live in Canada, so if you're new to my channel, welcome. If you're not new, you guys know I live in Canada. So to go to Disneyland and or world for me, this is the foil. Can we talk about this glittery foil? Like, I know that the lights are not doing it justice. Um, and, of course, this is a very makeshift. I'm literally filming this on a side table um, in my bedroom in construction. So there's construction guys in the background, which is why um, I'm doing a voiceover. Anyway, going back. Live in Canada. So when we go to Disney or land and or uh, world... Or Paris, to be honest. I don't think we'll ever go to Paris. But um, it's kind of a once-in-a-lifetime trip. Like, I've been, when I was young, and I've also been as a single adult, 
Um, but like to take my kids and maybe like, I don't, we don't get to go yearly, I guess. Do you know what I'm saying? Like, I just, that's just not really an option. It's just, it's a lot of money. It's all of us. Like, it's going to be kind of a, a, a really big deal when we do go, if we do go. So that to be said, I have lots of plans for things that we're going to do and see. And I want to be there for an extendo amount of time. Like, Especially if we go to World, because I there are so many parks. I think there's seven parks. Dawn would know this. I feel she would know this. Um, there's like I think seven parks. Typhoon Lagoon. I can't name them all, but there's a lot anyway. And land, of course, there's two parks, and. But yet my kids, to be honest, my kids have grown up and they want to go to Legoland more than they want to go to Disneyland. And I just think that's wrong. But that's a whole nother conversation. But anyway, when we do go, because it's a once in a lifetime thing and I want to get everything in. I want to go when they're taking down the Halloween decorations, but putting up the Christmas decorations. So I want that perfect sweet spot in November when they are switching over decorations so that I can get a little bit of Halloween, but a little bit of Christmas. So that is my game plan. So in November, that is that is our plan, to head down in November to have like an amazing time. As you can tell, I am using these bold, awesome, sparkly gold (laughs) bougie boxes. Um, I put the Disney overlay over the top. So it's the one with the actual like Disney font with the D on it. And that one over the red at the top. You just might not be able to see it because, of course, there's always a glare with my light with um, foil and with... um, glossy stickers. It's just the way it is. I don't have a very good lighting system, again, because I'm doing this on a side table in my bedroom on my bed. So the fact that I even managed to get a video up this week, I'm pretty darn proud of myself. I'm using these little things as my dinner trackers. So I'm just going to make everyone a day of the week, and then I'm going to put our meals um, that we're having. Um, We are leaving this week that I'm pre-planning for to go to the lake. So we are spending Christmas at the lake with my parents this year. Normally we would have Christmas Day at my house, but because it is currently being renovated and being fixed, I um, I decided that the kids and I would go to the lake so that if people did want to see it over the Christmas holidays, we wouldn't be in there um, because I wasn't really going to decorate it for Christmas. So um, just because with the renovations and just getting furniture in and out, I just didn't want the extra work to be blatantly honest. So we decorated the lake house and my kids and us are, we're going to go to the lake to have Christmas. So um, it's just one year out of many, many and Christmas happens all the same. So it doesn't matter to me. And I think the kids are just as excited because it'll be lots of fun. Um, regardless of what we do. I was um, looking for my cleaning list. So I use these cleaning lists from the Prairie Planner. I buy them in multiple colors. She puts out different colorways every now and again um, to match the seasons. So I have a whole bunch of them. So I just pick the colorway that kind of matches whichever kit I'm using. I only use it in this planner. It's um, my May planner. And I still mark the things that I'm cleaning in my laundry and stuff. I just like a big checklist to kind of refer back to to remind myself, oh, yeah, I need to do the dang floors. Or, oh, yeah, did I do the bathrooms? Things like that, because I am that person that does kind of forget every now and again. So, yeah, I decided to put this really big box to mark Christmas um, day. And then I do add my countdown. I just don't do it um, on this plan with me. I add it after because I decided it's like that vertical countdown. Um, and I got that from Purdy Planner in 2020 and I never used it and I know that I use gold foil and it's in hollow foil but 
I really liked the countdown, so I decided to keep using it, but you guys don't get to see that. So I just add it where I have extra boxes. And of course, this is me just kind of laying down some of the functionals um, in kind of a haphazard way, but yet to cover all the black lines, but yet not too close to each other so you can still see the amazing gold sparkle um, because I love to see amazing gold sparkle in a spread. So that's what I'm attempting to do. I, I also don't want the colors to match too much. It's a whole thing. Like it almost becomes harder to try to make it look like I wasn't trying than if I did just try. And of course, Dawn gives us so many freaking boxes, which is wonderful. I, I want her to keep doing it. But at the same time, sometimes it makes it a little difficult to decide which boxes I'm going to use. And I also have so many more stickers left over from this kit that I plan to use it in my B6 next year. Like I, I'm hoarding a bunch of like leftovers. So I have an entire binder dedicated to like leftover sticker kits. And then I use all those leftovers the next year in my B6. And sometimes I'll have enough, like a lot of these mystery kits, I have enough that I can do a full nother spread as well, especially with the foil. So that's one of the other new things is that these mystery kits are not going to be just magical. So they are going to be any kind of theme that Dawn decides. They're going to be exclusive art, of course. So it will be art that you can only get at the Scrappy Fox. It, or I'm sorry, Coco and Fluff. It's amazing. I think they're amazing. However, to my complete and total dismay, there will be no foil bundles with them. Um, I think the foil is a lot of work. Um, and if you don't know, Dawn also has a full-time job. <laughs> so this is not just her, her main job. She has a full-time job as well. So she's a very busy lady. So I do get it. However, I am super sad that the foil bundle at her shop is going away. However, if you have watched some of my hauls recently, I have found alternate foil dealers. So Tiny Little Tulip has also become one of my favorite foil dealers. And I'm pretty sure there is going to be a collab um, with some of the mystery kits. So, and I say mystery, even though they're, they're not really going to be mystery, like you'll get to see it, but the exclusive art kits is what I'm trying to say. Um, but the, the layout is just it's just amazing in these kits. So, super excited for that. Um, I'm glad I'm still able to get a foil pairing because you know me, I love to add the sparkle. And I love the, the foil with these kits. I just think it just adds so much to them. Um, and I, again, also love the art, as you guys know. Um, so that's what's been going on in regards to the kit. So there is some changes, but great changes, I think. Um, also changes in my little life. As you know, my life is a bit crazy. Um, me and my family are moving. We plan to move by the end, like at the, in January, we'll be moving in January. Um, once we actually have a house and we sell my house or our house here where we currently live. So I'm kind of in the middle of keeping my house completely clean which I have three children and a crazy husband who I love, but they are not the neatest people on the planet. So the more I can keep them out of my current house, the better. Um, but we'll see. We'll see how well that goes. I am putting all the glitterness on the full boxes right now. I just, I don't have like an actual double box. So I'm just cutting the middle out so that the, the, you know how the, the overlays have like the box all the way around, like a complete like square and or circle. So I just cut off the middle bits so that the top still line up and match perfectly. And yes, I put a foil over top of a foil because it says Merry Christmas on that Christmas tree that is completely blurred out by the lights right now in my sidebar. It's okay. You guys understand. Um, and then I put like a foil 
around that. And then because I wanted to use a lot of the icons and the scripts in the kit, I am pulling out all the icons and all the scripts that I think will match what I have to do. And the majority of them are work, cleaning, um, and that kind of stuff. All of like my kids' sports and like my plans with my friends and stuff, I will always use like an extra character sticker for um, because I love a good character sticker, guys. Like it's just so fun. And I'm also super excited that Dawn has uh, announced that she's going to be bringing out more Coco and Fluff um, character stickers coming out in the new year. So super, super excited for that. I cannot wait. Um, so yeah, lots of things happening in that department. Um, my kids will be going to their sports as long as we're still in town. Um, because again, I'm not 100% sure. It just kind of depends on when our house sells and stuff. So I do plan at this current moment to have videos for you guys every week. I'm just not 100% sure if it will be um, cons like there will probably be one week that it doesn't happen. Although I've been pretty good. I've managed to get everything done that I needed to get done regardless of construction and stuff. So I do have hope that I'll be able to still provide you guys with videos every week because I still plan regardless. And it doesn't really take that much more effort for me to, um, like my setup is very tiny. Like I'm a very small time YouTuber. Like there's nothing big and bold. There's no studio lights or anything like that. It is just a tiny little ring light and a little bit of a, a like a, st a camera stand. And that's it. Like it's just me and my house. So so there is no big elaborate studio or anything. Like if I had taken a picture of like my setup, you guys probably would be like, oh my gosh, that's just crazy. But yes, I'm just a small YouTuber. So <laughs> there's no elaborate setup or anything. So I should be able to give you guys um, some content because I'm doing the planning anyway. So I might as well just videotape it and it only takes me a little bit to do these voiceovers afterwards. So and if I don't have time to do the voiceovers, I'll just I'll just give you some music. So just so you guys can still see what's up with the planning, because I know I still love watching Plan With Me's. It's one of my favorite things to do. I have them on almost all the time. Um, so if you guys know any awesome channels, um, small YouTubers that you guys want to recommend, definitely leave them down below. I, I love Sassy Turtle Plans. I love... Um, Dawn, of course, I'm in love with um, Sassy Stephanie. As you know, me and her are doing a Christmas collab coming up on Tuesday. So if you guys are interested, um, the link will be down below. Um, and you can always follow me on Instagram at Brandy Plans, four S's, um, because Brandy Plans with one S was taken at the time. So Brandy Plans with four S's. Um, and you can see all the information on there. That's also where I post um, some, I've been doing some more like little lives on Instagram as well. So if you guys are interested, just come and follow me over there. You'll see some like quick unboxings and stuff. I'm doing my, the TPC um, advent calendar at the current moment over there. So you guys can watch my unboxing of those which I, I missed a bunch of days, again, because of construction. So I'm trying to be better about that, but I definitely have up to day six done. Um, I'm loving it so far, guys. I It was like a last-minute purchase. I am so, so glad that I purchased. It, yeah, it's pretty darn amazing. Um, yeah, super, super happy, super happy with how it's turning out. The kits they're amazing. Like it's amazing. So I'm just adding, um, like the kids have a half day of school. I'm adding that we're heading to the lake. Um, I'm adding all the kids like jujitsu. So the boys still have jujitsu this week. School, the last day of school is on the 23rd. And then we head to the lake after that, of course. Um, my daughter still has gymnastics. They still have curling. Um, again, I live in Canada. <laughs> Curling's a thing up here and my kids love it. Um, so 
as long as they love it, that's all that matters. Um, I'm putting like big family dinners, of course, because we're going to eat like crazy. I'm making a turkey for Christmas, um, for my mom's Christmas. So my mom celebrates her Christmas on the 27th here at the lake and she does fried chicken. Oh, guys, it's so, so good. I, yes, I absolutely love my mom's fried chicken. It's amazing. Um, I'm just pulling out the scripts and stuff that, um, match all the words that I use. Um, and I keep them into like simply gilded kind of folders. Um, I'm going to be doing videos of my sticker storage, um, coming up in the new year as well. Anyway, I hope you guys are well, happy. I wish you a Merry Christmas. And as always, um, click like and subscribe. Bye guys.